Hey, it's Lee at Craftsman Direct, and I am in Hillsburg today looking at a damaged door from a very anxious dog to see its owner. And um, that can be lightly sanded, and let's get it flat so that there's not ridges in our, our paintwork. And um, here, too, what I'd like to do is touch up the door area, kind of like maybe in this area, and let's kind of see, or maybe that strip right here. And um, we've got some paint to do up here. We've got mudding to do. Uh, let's do it five minute mud heat gun. And I have told these folks that basically you get a mark. See that mark? So let's paint from somewhere in here all the way down to the bottom of the floor to the baseboards where it stops. And if you feel this area here, you can actually feel some movement in it, meaning lines. It's not real smooth. So we can mud that. Yeah. Let's mud that too. Skim it. And paint. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, homeowner has indicated that these boxes here will have paint color. She did not think the walls had been painted, so it will have a coat on the top. There will not be enough paint in there to do the job, but the coat will give you a perfect match. That's the uh, first item of repair here. Um, okay. Oh, we found more stuff. Yeah, I, forgot. I have two wall cracks that just okay. this one. That one going left. Okay. And uh, fiberglass tape and a couple of coats of mud. We're going to enclose this area to minimize dust. Okay. And, one more. okay. and we got a. It's a little settling crack, probably in the door corners. Yeah. Right and a little settling crack. Yeah. And. Uh, I had a piece of furniture there, so that's fine. it never noticed it, but it didn't bother yeah. me. And what we can do is, um, that's going to be hard to get right in there, so it might be a little bit of caught we can push in uh -huh. and um, paint. And then this is going to have to be a piece of fiberglass tape. Right. We apply mud, drop cloth, and hmm, usually we put up a tent. Okay. But what I'm thinking is that if you sand and you move your hand slowly, Mm -hmm. Then dust doesn't proliferate, and we okay. don't want it. Be, we don't want it dusty. Okay. So anyhow, okay. okay. So that was a drywall, a drywall, the door over there, the paint in that room. We have a spindle, <clears throat> and let's look at the baluster. Two words means the same thing. Um, we'll have to cut that screw. It look like I don't know that might be a plastic screw but um, we have to cut that off carefully and we pull this out and um, we have to get a baluster and that's probably what that's over two feet that's two and a half feet long no it's okay it's fine estimates are fine I just didn't want to get like a four foot one like the ones oh, you have yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so um, anyhow, but it's one baluster, and let's hope that it comes with this color. If it's not, she's got some extra that we can take in, and that looks like a semi-gloss. But um, anyhow, what I'm going to do, let me slip my shoes on, which I keep over here by the door. <clears throat> and we're going to walk around outside real quick because we got to get a quote to pressure wash. And I'll do that real quick. Come on. Come on, cooperate for me. Don't make me look like a rookie. Thank you, ma'am. It was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay. Um, balusters, they don't look good. So um, in the boxwoods, I don't know that we can kill it. But those little things with blooms on it, be careful. And um, let's try to keep everything wet here. We've got ant lines I want to destroy up here. Uh, nothing that doesn't look like we could damage it, like that woman that had a mahogany door in a b-board ceiling last week that I didn't win it. Be careful with the front door, it is so easy to streak it, okay? The windows, rinse, 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 right Kyle? Alright, cedar shake. Um... Let's study this. I don't know that I've ever pressure cleaned cedar. Let's make good choices and let's check on that. I don't know if it can give me a percentage of bleach. I'm looking for oopses. And the oopses are those flowers right there. 
you couldn't kill a holly if you tried. I promise. Go pour bleach on it and see. Um, all right. Look at all these. What are those? It's like drips. I would have sworn that was sticky. See all these little drippy things? What is that? It's shiny. Oh, look that wall. Two stories. The X Jet will get that with no problem. Okay. Rinse, rinse, rinse on the windows, right? Okay. Um, clean this. Please. Not overzealous, just, you know, get the dust off. Get the top. Get up there. Um, and I've got to go back and ask her if we need to take all the furniture off. How you doing? Shh. Honey, don't get mad at me. Please. Huh? Don't get mad at me. Up here. Around here. Um, um, what was her name? I'm sorry. I forgot your name. Uh, Nora. Nora. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, clean the porch as well. Um, All yeah, the right all the furniture will come off put in this area we're going to rinse everything apply our cleaners and bring it back okay um word of caution there used to be some nasty looking spiders that used to live up in that gutter i'm assuming okay they may or may not still be there what kind were they <laughs> i don't know they were big <laughs> but in the were they friendly corner, <laughs> no i'm kidding um well in the corner we used to have you got all kinds of critters around here. Shaped, yeah. Um, huh. Oh, there's a webs, hornet's nest. But funnel shaped. Yeah, they were funnel shaped um, wow. spider webs. Anyway, it looks like they're gone though. Okay. So. Um, no, that's fine. Um, but I just, I just forewarn you. Thank you. No, I do. I appreciate it. I don't it. like if I know about it. Yeah. I don't want anyone to get hurt. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Where well, they don't, they won't carry us. I don't get up close. They'll carry us away. My, my, big spiders my. that make funnel-shaped webs. No, my graduate assistantship was in entomology. I'll have to look oh. it up. Okay. Well, I was. I like bugs. Bugs are good things usually. Yeah. So uh, anyhow, I'm gonna keep going with this thing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> garage doors up here, around the top, and down, um, and uh, that, and around. I think we got a lap. You can see that sidewalk right there. You can turn right and you go to there. Um, no, not quite. One more side. See, that's all first floor. That's just slam dunk easy. And uh, be careful, please. Okay, you see those guys? Try not to get bleach on them. Because if you do, I know it'll kill them. There's your water hose outlet. Look at that. What is that? Huh. Just a siding of some kind. Um, that's not going up. That's 18 feet. That's easy. Even Kyle can do that. Kyle, I'm sorry. You know that. Um, in the mud. See the... Okay. Um, a little pressure wash. With a porch. And um, please, guys, you know, if, if you see something like that, make it pretty. You know, that's the difference in us getting um, a review or not and that kind of stuff. It's like, I'll tell you the truth, a um, homeowner asked me for uh, advice on this wiggling faucet. And I said, you know, do you mind if I look? And yeah, I did. Go out and get a flashlight, got on my back, moved all that stuff out up from underneath the sink. And I tightened the faucet with three twists of a wrench. <sighs> yeah, no biggie. And hopefully it'll win this job so you guys can get out here and... Uh, I might throw something on my truck. Look at that. You know, that's so dripping. It's probably me. That's oil. That is oil. That was me. Anyway, gotta go. Thank y'all.